Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a web developer and investor. And in today's video, we continue with the Arbitrum airdrop possibilities. We are going to explain step by step how to multi-sign your wallet. This is a video of a series of videos that I am doing of things that you can do to probably get the airdrop when the times come for Arbitrum. I will tell you why this is mandatory if an airdrop appears, why you could get more tokens on the airdrop if you multi-sign the wallet, and how to do this step by step to get their best results if an airdrop gets in Arbitrum during this year. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's go into it. Guys, like I said, this is a video of a series of videos that I am doing on all the possible things that you need to do in order to get the Arbitrum airdrop when that time comes. For sure, I think during this year we are going to have an airdrop. It will boost the ecosystem a lot, so there's no way that that doesn't happen at some point. But remember that all this is speculation for now. We don't have official data. So I am doing all this stuff myself and I am sharing all that with you because I think you have a great opportunity to may maybe earn thousands of dollars on this airdrop. The same happened with the airdrop of Optimism, which is a direct competitor. When they did that, I know many people that earned $20,000, $50,000, $10,000 on the airdrop. So we want to be prepared to that and that is why I'm doing these videos. So go to my section on videos, search for Arbitrum. This is step by step guide is all you need to do with the Arbitrum 1. Then you need to do the Arbitrum Nova video to utilize the another chain of Arbitrum and you need to get the NFT for the Odyssey campaign. Also, you can see why I think this is important in this video. So look for these videos first because there are more understandable and easy to do than this one. If you are okay with that, then we are going to go with the video of today, which is how to get your multi-sign wallet and why that is important. And in order to complete this, I want to share with you this Twitter is Mingo Airdrop. He usually posts things about upcoming airdrops and he did a very interesting thread about the possible airdrop of Arbitrum. And he there put that having signed a multi-sign on Arbitrum is one of the possible things that you need to do in order to get this airdrop. Where we get that besides the tweet, if you see all what happened with the Optimism airdrop, you will see that many of the eligible people that received the airdrop, they have some boost. And one of the boosts was if they have the multi-sign signers account. So you can see that the amount of total people eligible users count, there was 20,000 only that had the multi-sign signers count. So I think this will give you a really good boost if you do it in order for the airdrop. I'm not sure if they are going to count on that, but the multi-sign, it probably will be one of the things. If you go to the Optimism docs, you can see that the airdrop allocations were for Optimism users, repeated Optimism users, so you need to do a lot of transactions to be considered repeat users. And then we have this stuff, DAO voters, multi-sign signers, Gitcoin donors, user price out of Ethereum. So in the next videos, I'm going to cover all this stuff because you people have been asking, asking me that in the comments. And today we are going to see how to multi-sign signer your wallet in order to be one of these eligible addresses to receive a plus on an airdrop. And you can see here that the, for optimism, the overlap bonuses for if you have four categories, five or six categories. So multi, being multi-sign signer, it was one of the boosts that will give you more allocation per address. So that is why you will have the possibility, if you do this, to earn maybe thousands of dollars on the coming airdrop. And again, I want to repeat it again, this is a speculation. We are not sure if these are going to be one of the things that Arbitrum is going to ask for the users of the community to be but I really think that there are big chances, like 80-90%, that having a multi-sign wallet, it will be best for you. So what is this multi-sign stuff? Multi-signature, multi-sig, refers to needing multiple keys participants to authorize a transaction, rather than a single signature from one key. It has numerous applications in real world. 
where proper key management is required and multiple people hold ownership of a fund. So basically, if you use your MetaMask when you sign for the transaction, you only click on OK or continue because you are already using that account and that account represents a private key that you have and it's used with the public key. So you are the only user that needs to confirm that transaction to happen. Having a multi-sign wallet means that you are going to have another addresses that need to confirm the transaction. In this way, you have your wallet more secure for any hack or any phishing that you can get. So actually it's a secure measure that will help you also with the transactions. If we continue checking here in Optimism Docs, you will see that at this point they explain these multi-sign signers, how they are going to be considered. And the multi-sign signers are entrusted with larger pools of capital of control over key protocol function. They are often their present and future DAO leaders and builders because usually you will have a multi-sign signer with a wallet with a lot of tokens, which is not mandatory to do it. Criterion. Address is a current signer on a multi-sign which has executed at least 10 transactions all time, includes 95% of all multi-sign transactions. Multi-sign wallets include Nasi Safe, multi-sign with daily limit, multi-sign wallet with time lock, and addresses in Ethereum multi-sign level, which have the function to get owner addresses. So in this video, we are going to cover how to do this using Gnosis Safe, which for me is the easiest way to do it. And remember that for optimism, you needed to have at least 10 transactions. So after having your wallet multi-sign, try to do 10 transactions, maybe one per day from now on. To do this, you need to go to Gnosis-Safe.io and here you can open the application. Remember that to do this, you need to have your MetaMask wallet and remember that you are, need to be in Arbitrum 1. So once you are on the application, you need to connect here with your wallet. In this case, I am using MetaMask. I recommend you to do the same. Click next and connect. After you are connected, remember that you need to connect with Arbitrum. So you can select here and connect Arbitrum and I need to switch here my MetaMask from Ethereum to Arbitrum 1. Now you have MetaMask on Arbitrum and Arbitrum selected here. When you confirm that both here are in Arbitrum, you can click here and create a new safe. Then wallet is connected and is creating a safe on Arbitrum. So you click continue. You can put a name for this, then click continue. And here you need to add the amount of owners that you want. You can click here and add another owner. At least you need to put to here. The address that is here in this first input, just for security reasons, even if these wallets are only for the videos and not, not my real wallets that I use with crypto. Anyways, this is the address that I am connected right now with the MetaMask. And here for the owner name CCS Wallet 2, you need to put another address that you have control or in another case, another person has control of this MetaMask. Remember that when you do transactions after, you will need to put the confirmation in both addresses. So for the purpose of this, to save your multi-sign wallet for Arbitrum for the airdrop, I recommend you to just create another MetaMask account in another extension, for example, and be the owner of those. So in this case, I'm going to put another owner address that I personally have access. Once you have both, also, you can add another one if you want. You can put the amount of you want here, but in order to do this to work, at least you need to, to put two here. The one that I am connected right now and another one. After that, click continue. And here you can put create. If you create one with only two you owners, you only will need one confirmation from one owner. But if you put more owners, you probably will need the confirmation in more than one wallet. After all this, create click on create, confirm everything in your wallet. And after all, it will say that your safe was created successfully. Click on get started. And remember that this the thing that we created is only in Arbitrum. Your MetaMask, it will work normally, but the safe works only in Arbitrum. So only you can send crypto using Arbitrum. If not, you're going to lose your funds. Click on continue. 
and here you're, you have your dashboard in your safe now. So that is all for this multi-sign wallet. Now let's do some transactions. You can send funds, send an NFT. If you go here to view on RB scan, you will see that now this works with a contract. So you click there and you will see that you have a contract here. You can check it here. Now I want to receive some assets through Arbitrum 1. So I will copy the address or you can click here and copy the address there. Then we go to the MetaMask, click on send. I need to remove this name. Put here the amount that you want to send. Next, confirm the transaction and you can see that says contract interaction. And now you can see that I have $13 here. If I go to the contract, you can see that we did that transaction just one minute ago and I have $13 in the safe vault here. So guys, that is how you create your Gnosis safe, which could give you one of the opportunities for this multi-sign wallet. And this is how you put funds here. Now, if you want to use it and trade and do something, you have here all the applications that are already integrated in this UI, but you also can add another applications. Now I am using here Uniswap from my safe wallet. I will select the token here. Let's say USDC. And let's say that I want to send 0021 here. Which is around $1. I will do the swap and confirm the swap and submit. Then the swap was successful. I will close this. I will go to home and you know, I already swap a little of Ethereum into USDC here in my safe multi-sign wallet with Nozzy safe. And guys, that is all for the video. This is how you can have your multi-sign wallet that may help you with the Arbitrum airdrop to get more. And please, before we leave, like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and share this video in any of your social media. And remember to follow me at Crypto C State in Twitter, where I put trade alerts, news, and a lot of content about everything on the crypto space. That will be all, and I see you in the next video. Bye.